the perimeter of regular and irregular polygons. The perimeter is the total distance of the outer sides of a closed figure. This outer side, the length of this outer side is called perimeter. Okay. Also, the perimeter means the total length of all sides of a polygon. If you add all these sides, you will get the perimeter. The length of all these sides is the perimeter. Now, let's find the perimeter of this triangle. First, you have to add all these sides. Let's add them to get the perimeter. 4 plus 5 equal 9 plus 7 equal 16. Just 16? No, you have to write the measuring unit. It's 16 centimeter. Okay, let's find the perimeter of this pentagon. You will add. You will add 5, 5 times. It means 25. Okay, 25, just 25? No, 25 meter. Super. Let's go to the next example. Find the perimeter. Now we have to add all the sides. We have 6 and 4 and 2 missing sides. What should we do? As you know, it's a rectangle. In the rectangle, the opposite sides are equal. So, don't worry. This side will be equal to this side. It will be also 4 meter. And this side will be equal to this side. It will be 6 meter. Now we can add. 4 plus 6 plus 4 plus 6. Here we will put a rule for the rectangle, the perimeter of rectangle. It means you will add length plus width multiply 2. Here we have 6 plus 4 multiply 2. It means 6 plus 4 equal 10. By 2 equal 20. So the perimeter of the rectangle equal 20. But wait, just 20? No, 20 meter. Okay, let's go. Now, you have the perimeter of the square is 12 centimeter. Find the length of its sides. The perimeter of this square, the frame of this square equal 12. What should we do? You have to know, in the square, all the sides are equal. You have four sides are equal. So, you have to divide 12, divided 4. It will give you 3. But just 3. Here's the length in centimeters, so it will be 3 centimeters. So, the length of each side equal 3 centimeters. Now, the perimeter of irregular polygons. Let's go. Find the perimeter. Oh, what is this? It's some irregular shapes or polygons. Here, he told you that the length of each side equal 1 cm. So, you have to count these sides to add them. Okay, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So the perimeter of the first shape is 8 centimeter. Okay, let's go to the second one. Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So the perimeter of the second shape is 10. 10 centimeter, don't forget. Let's count here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 centimeter. Find the perimeter. Here we want to know the perimeter of this polygon. So we have to add all these sides. But wait, we have a missing side over there. What should we do? First, you will cut this shape. Now we have two shapes or two polygons. Look, this is a square. The sides of the square are equal, so this side will be equal this side. 
equal 4 meter. And look at this shape. It's a rectangle. This side will be will be equal the opposite side equal also 4 meter. Now you will add if we add 4 meter plus 4 meter you will get this long side equal 8 meter. Now we have all the sides let's add. We will add all sides because the perimeter is the length of the outer sides. Okay, let's add 4 plus 4 plus 8 equals 16 plus 10 equals 26 plus 6 equals 32 plus 4 equals 36. Don't forget 36 meter. And this was our lesson. Thank you.